Assalamualaikum everybody, Ahmed Susi here, Civil Rights Director for CARE Arizona. And this Black History Month, we are uh, showcasing some local Black Muslim leaders. And I'm very excited for this specific leader. That's Brother Mukhtar Sheikh. Uh, how are you doing today? Good, thank you very much for having me, Ahmed. I appreciate it. Definitely, definitely. Now, Mukhtar, I, I met you uh, almost two, two or three years ago when we were re uh, organizing the first refugee lobbying day. But for those who don't know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm happy to, um, uh, you know, as, as you said, my name is Mukhtar Sheikh. I came to Arizona in 1996 as a refugee from Somalia. And um, I stayed here from 96 to 98. I moved to San Diego uh, with the family. Uh, when I graduated high school, I came back here to attend Arizona State University. I got my both bachelor and my master's from Arizona State University. Uh, I, I mean, I got involved in the community work uh, by accident. Um, I had a, um, you know, most immigrant, as soon as I graduated, I, I, I opened a, a coffee shop. And, and I was running my coffee shop while I had other jobs. And as you know, as an immigrant, once you open that, that becomes a, a hot spot. Everybody come there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody come there and, and 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 you know for coffee for for having you know talks and chat. One morning, you know it was a slow day, and I was working and a, a lady came in and she's like, "Is this the Somali coffee shop?" I was like, "Yeah, it's not Somali. It doesn't say Somali coffee shop, you know." But. It, um, and she's alone like, oh. and she was stressed. And I said, come in and give her a, a Somali tea. And, and she had a problem with Bank of America. And, and I had the story at 44th Street and Times. And Bank, Bank of America was a couple of blocks away. And, and, I, and she told me, it's like, you know, she had a, she had a, they allowed her to open a, a, a CD account. CD account is, where you put your money in there, but you can't touch it for whatever amount of time. And this lady doesn't speak English. <laughs> she, she got her first paycheck. She wanted to open an account. And they, oh, they give us an ID. And I was like, you know, I was like, ah, man, I think there's something's not right, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and I was like, I know it's, it's slow. Let me close my business. And let me, and it's just a couple of blocks away and let me see what I could do. So I went to the bank, asked for a manager and I said, I think something's not right. This lady got her first paycheck. She don't know what she did. She just wanted to open a checking account, <laughs> you know? And, and, and we were very nice guys. Like, okay, let me figure it out. And that helped out. As you know, Ahmed, when you help out one of our people, they don't stop talking, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, and, 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 and people keep coming and people keep coming. And, 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 you know, I was at that time, yeah, I, people know my family from Arizona, but nobody knew that I came back. You know, a lot of, a lot of people didn't know that I came back. So, so my association of Arizona is the community that helped my mom when she came. And they find out that I was here and they came to me and said, you were the kids that we used to help. You know, I, we had you helping people. Can you keep, come over and, and be part of the Somali Association of Arizona? And, and, and that was since 2007 and I never looked back. <laughs> and that's, 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 that's how my community work started. That's awesome. That's awesome. But you're you're 100 right when you say that, uh, especially in in the immigrant community, uh, for people who are you know brand new to America, you really have to rely on those who've done it before, right? Because you might accidentally yeah. open the wrong bank account and you, and you can't touch any of your money. Um, so that's that's definitely awesome that you got to uh, give back to the organization that you know you, you helped yourself. 
that, that helped you and your family. Um, to you, let me ask in you know, Black History Month, what does Black excellence mean to you? Man, you know, immigrants could not survive this country without the work of uh, you know African Americans put through, and and and, and the, the the way they you know fight for their rights, and and that means a lot to me. You know, to give you a, a, um, to me, Black history means a lot because uh, you know I was never a good kid, you know. And, and, and I was a troubled kid, uh, you know, California, you know, new country, you know, all that freedom you have and everything. And um, now I, I, I really don't remember his name. He's, a, he's an elder African-American. I wish, I wish I got to know him a lot, but there's something that he said that, you know, they stick to me until now, it's like what, 20 years ago, you know? And he told me, that you didn't come to this country to F up, you know? And, and your family brought you here to, to, do, to, 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 to do great things. And, 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 he, and, and, and he gave me a history of, you know, fighting for basic rights and, 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 and not giving up, always trying to do better. That stick to me, and that what Black excellence means to me is, is always trying to do better, always fighting for for people's rights, and 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 always stand up for the you know for the voiceless and people that cannot fight for themselves, and 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 that will actually what push me to drive. You know, people always ask me, how you find time to do this? You know, uh, you know, I always show up in the meetings, I always show up to you know. Whatever the community needs me, I'm always there. And, and that drives comes to, you know, people that give me the opportunity that I have now, you know? And, and, and the understanding that, that, you know, what, you know, you could guide people the right way and, 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 and give that time. And that gives me a, a great, you know, that, that American dream for me is to help people, to be honest. 100%, 100%. And, and like you said, you're right. It's, it's about helping bring that next generation along. Um, do, have you, do, you, do you see any differences or you know, is it easier now or is it harder than when you first started organizing uh, the local community here? You know, you know, is, you know as you know, you know, doing it, you know, Trump administration, you know, it was much harder. Uh, you know, um, you know when when mom when mom come, you know comes to you and said that, you know, she's trying to bring a family member and and the process is tough. And, you know, those was a challenge thing. You know, um, the other challenges that I see, and especially in Arizona, is 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 um, the lack of opportunities for young people. Uh, you know, I, I always wonder, like, because I train young people and, and I'll show them the loopers, but I always lose them to Minnesota. <laughs> 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 you know, and, and what, that's the biggest challenge we have in the Somali community because I, I, I met amazing young people uh, and they helped me a lot with the projects. But as soon as they graduate, they're out of the state, you know? And well, I'd rather, I'd rather that, choose the heat than the snow, than, you know, any, any time, any day, I'm going, there's all the heat yeah, for the Minnesota yeah. snow. Uh, uh, until today, I, I really don't understand how Somalians are able to handle the snow. I just don't understand. <laughs> so something that, because, you know, when I, was, when I was in high school, you know, because I went to a high school that has a a lot of Somalians, we were like 500 Somalian students. And I, I had like a lot of them in my classroom. And, and, um, and, and everybody would be like, what are you gonna graduate? You know, what, what are you gonna do? And they all gonna, they always say they were gonna go to Minnesota and gonna go to Minnesota. And I was the only one who said Arizona. And people were like, Arizona? <laughs> what is in Arizona? And, uh, and, yeah. and I was like, yeah, 
friend. And then when I came here, I visited to them. I, I was like, all my friends went to Minnesota. I went to the Minnesota and I was like, oh, I don't want this cold. <laughs> so, but that's the biggest challenge here for young people because they can't find opportunities and, 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 and they always leave the state to Minnesota, Seattle, California, Ohio. So that's the challenges we have here in Somali community. Okay, uh, uh, tend to leave the state. Uh, if I well, would me, me leave the state, as you know, Ahmed. Mm -hmm. Let me let me ask: um, Is there a if people want to get involved uh, with the community center? Um, are there volunteering opportunities or? Yeah, you know, you know, as you know, Ahmed, that, that I always refer to some cases that, that has a legal uh, background, you know, I always uh, ask you. Uh, people could always uh, find us in Facebook and, and uh, they're always welcome to the community. We have an art center at uh, 52nd Street in McDowell. Uh, you know, that's our local uh, hub. We have restaurants and the community center. So everyone is welcome. We have a uh, I work with a lot of great people that help me with a lot of cases. I, I work with a lot of nonprofit organizations such as CARE, uh, you know, Black Mom Forum, um, you know, other agencies that I work for references as well. I will definitely put them uh, in the caption. So I appreciate that so people could go and, and check it out. Um, before we wrap up, do you have anything else you'd like to say or? No, I appreciate it to uh, allow me to come uh, talk to you, and I, I appreciate everything you do for the community. Well, I, I definitely appreciate you, Brother Mokhtar. Like I said, uh, I met you during the refugee lobbying day, and you know, alhamdulillah, I did because you definitely uh, helped me, you know, reach out to the community, and um, we're definitely uh, happy to showcase what you do, you know. And um, if anyone, like I said, wants to volunteer with your organization, we'll have the caption there uh, in, in the description. But thank you all for watching and have a great day. Masalaam.